Good morning, everybody. Time for another yoga session. Good morning again, Barbara, Pat, and Jim. So, um, hi, Mom. Hey, Kim. Fran, how you doing? Uh, so normally I ask everybody what they want to work on in yoga class on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. Um, so you can put a couple comments on there while we're waiting for people to pop on. Um, hey, Joyce. Um, hey, Jan. Excellent. Uh, Marion. Excellent. Um, so, um, so if you want to type in something, some body part that feels particularly, um, um, hey Jenny, um, feels particularly tight or sore or uncomfortable, um, hey Gail, uh, and I am really going to try to focus today on just some relaxing poses I'm um, setting my watch here. Um, we're going to use the wall for sure because people seem to like that. Hips are perfect. Um, so if you've been on uh, neck and shoulders, good. Because some of you I know are making face masks and doing a lot of home projects where your neck and shoulders are getting work uh, done. Uh, so Phyllis, I hope you're going to actually do something and not... Um, just watch. So try to do some of the work, Phyllis, because Jan is on here too. And uh, Fran, yes, that is what we're going to do. Just some nice relaxing stuff because I hope that you are doing some of the boot camp stuff with me. Um, so let's just start actually laying down. Um, if you don't want to lay down or that's uncomfortable for you um, to feel like you can't get back up, just sit down on a chair. It's perfectly fine. Or sit on your couch um, I have my mat close to my wall today, so um, just lay down with your knees bent. Take my glasses off now so I can see far away. Um, hands on your belly, eyes shut. Maybe just tip your thighs, inner thighs together if that feels okay. But definitely your feet flat on the floor, your knees bent. Hands on your belly, eyes shut. Walk your shoulders down away from your ears. And just breathe. So in through your nose. And out through your nose. Just quieting your mind. Letting go of all those outside thoughts and distractions. Letting whatever body parts are touching your mat or touching the chair, touching your couch or your chair, your floor, your couch, whatever it is that you're sitting on or laying on, try to feel that connection of your body grounding into whatever it's touching. Just feel your belly rise on your inhale. And letting all of your breath go on your exhale.
going to try your best today to concentrate on your breath, on the inhales, on the exhales. I find it really helpful sometimes to just think inhale, exhale. But when your mind starts to wander away, and it will, that's a just normal activity of your mind. You're just going to gently guide those thoughts back to your breath. Let's raise your arms up over your head. Just relaxing your elbows, relaxing your shoulders, bringing your knees in line with your hips, your feet flat on the floor, and just drop your knees side to side. And now we're just going to start noticing the movement with your breath. The way your body feels on the right versus the way your body feels on the left. Most of us are doing this all by ourselves. So I can't see what you're doing. Nobody else can see what you're doing. So you do the things today that feel right for you. Without worrying about what anybody else thinks. And if you want to stay in some position a little bit longer, perfectly fine. You can always just hit the pause button on your phone or your computer. Catch back up to us when you're ready. Let's keep your knees over to the right. Interlace your fingers and give yourself a big stretch. Feeling the left side of your body, the waist. Try to lengthen, try to get a little bit more length and a little bit more space. Breathe. And then relax your shoulders and bring your knees back to center and drop them over to the left. And again, reach those arms away from you. Drop those knees down and to the left. Big deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Bring your knees slowly back to center. Bring your hands at your side. Bring your heels a little bit closer to your upper body and just lift one foot off the mat and then slowly lower it back down. Your other foot off the mat and back down. And then just repeat that one foot at a time. Inhaling as you raise your foot, exhaling as you slowly lower it back down. So the same amount of time to lift, same amount of time to lower down. And then let's work on a little bit of coordination here. So when your right knee comes up, I'd like your left arm to raise up over your head and then set all that back down. And then the opposite arm, opposite leg lifts and then that back down. So if you can picture yourself standing, you're just lifting a knee and raising that opposite arm up. Noticing your shoulder joints, how they feel. Inhaling as you lift and reach. 
exhaling as you set everything back down. So try to use this time today, this hour, to really just focus on your breath. Try not to think about anything else that's going on in your life. To work on that deep breath so that you can use that breath throughout the rest of your day to calm you down, to lower your heart rate, to lower your blood pressure, to lower your stress levels. All right, bring those knees into center and try to give yourself a hug. It doesn't have to be big right now. In fact, you should probably feel a little pull in your low back. So if that happens, I'd like you to just drop your tailbone down towards the mat and don't bring your knees in so far. And just turn your feet around your ankle joints in one direction. It's perfectly fine to hear little pops, cracks. Let's go the opposite direction. and then cross at your ankles, hold behind your legs. We're just gonna rock a couple of times till you can come up to a seated position. And then we're just gonna face forward or face whatever way you want and find a nice comfortable seated position. You can sit on a block or a pillow if you'd like or just on your mat or you can just stay laying down if that's a better position for you. Your palms are up if your sun is up, depending on where you're doing this. So, you know, if you're in California and your sun is not risen yet, or if you're in England, I have somebody doing this all the way across the pond. So if the sun has set, then your palms are down. So big, deep breath. Nice and tall through your spine. So try to get that rib cage off your waist. Space between every vertebrae. Shoulders relaxed. If you feel uncomfortable crossing your legs, perfectly fine to have your legs out in front of you. Just nice and quiet, still calm with your breath. If your mind is wandering away, bring it right back to your breathing. Your inhale, your exhale. Turn your palms down on your thighs. Just tip your head over to the right. Bring your head up through center on an inhale and exhale your head over to the left. Inhale to center and exhale to the other side. And then just move on your own breath. Noticing how you feel, one side versus the other. When your head gets over to the right, let's just tip your chin down to your chest and roll your head around to one side. Roll it back around to the opposite side. And then again, just on your own breath. Just 
Just notice any sounds that your neck might be making. And as long as it doesn't cause you pain, perfectly normal, perfectly fine. And then chin to your chest, fingers to your neck like right where your neck and your shoulders meet. Let's just give yourself a little massage with your fingertips. So if your eyes were open, you're looking down at your lap. And then with a little pressure still on your shoulders and your neck, elbows go up, back and down. And maybe just fingers on your shoulders, inhaling and exhaling, nice and tall with that spine, big deep breaths. All right, hands at your side. Let's uh, take this arm, reach up, and lean over. Come on back to center. Other arm, and lean on over. Come on back to center. Just side to side. Lifting that rib cage off your waist. Moving nice and gently, smooth with your breath. All right, let's lean over there to the left one more time. And then come back to center. You're going to bring your left arm out to the front. Take your hands or your fingers and hold them with your right hand and push your uh, wrist out towards me just to get a good forearm stretch. I know when I'm uh, sitting around doing, um, I know this might surprise you, but when I sit around and knit or do needlepoint, my forearms start to hurt. So this is a good stretch for that. Let's switch. So if you're doing any sewing or just anything with those fingers and wrists and hands these days, maybe you're cooking more, chopping things. But relax the shoulder, push through your wrist. And then let's just make little figure eights. Big inhale with your arms. Let's hold on to your elbows and maybe just rest your forearms on your head and just breathe. Nice and tall, push down into your mat or your block. Breathe, 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 breathe. Then your arms are gonna go up to the ceiling and you're gonna twist to one side, letting your arms come down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale and twist. And then just repeat on your own breath. Always trying to inhale as you come to center and exhale as you twist. Coming back to center, both arms at your side. Let's take your left arm, hold it behind you, and just tip your head over. Eyes shut. And 
and then switch sides. So bring your left elbow over as you bring that right hand over to the left, tipping your head to the left, stretching your neck, your shoulder, dropping the right shoulder down. Breathe. Come on back to center. Take the block or pillow away if you're sitting on it. But make sure you still are sitting up on those sit bones. So grab your own cheeks. Nobody can see you. You can see me doing it, but nobody can see you. So grab your own cheeks, pull them back, or kind of just scooch forward a little bit. So you're up on those sit bones. Your knees are bent and a little bit wider than your hips. Hands behind you. And just drop your knees side to side. So just a little windshield wiper. We're going to do some twists today as well. All right, so from here, what I'd like you to do is just drop your knees over to the left and keep on twisting. We've done this before. Right hand is going to try to meet your left hand so that you have a big twist at your waist. So if that doesn't feel Good for you to take that hand all the way back. Maybe it's just over to the side, but really feel the twist and lengthen your spine. So open up your chest, sit nice and tall, push down into the hip, up through the crown of your head, twist and try to look behind you and breathe. Then come on back to center and let's go to the other side. So dropping the knees over to the right, taking your left hand now and putting it either to the right or to the back next to that right hand. So again, it's twisting at your waist. You're trying to leave your right hip on the ground. So right then I could feel like my shoulders were kind of slumping. I'm kind of slumping down a little bit. So really think about length. Somebody's reaching a little string from the crown of your head. So don't slump through your shoulders. Don't slump through your spine. Breathe. Come on back to center. And then let's take your right leg and cross it over your left, if you can. If you can't make this, maybe you're just gonna do this. So I just wanna feel a nice little stretch here in your glutes and your outer thigh. So you can come up a little bit taller through your spine. You can actually feel, without moving your feet, if you actually sit taller, you're gonna feel a little bit more stretch on the right side of those glutes. Big deep breath. And then let's try to take that right foot and drop it over to the left. See what that feels like. Maybe you walk your upper body a little bit taller. Maybe you take this hand and add even more of a twist to your right. So maybe you take your left hand on your right thigh and just try to sit up tall, twist to the right. Make any adjustments you need to. And then come back to center uncross those legs, put your left leg, cross it over your right in a big wide cross. And if that doesn't work again, you can just cross at your ankles. Sitting up nice and tall, you could walk your hands a little bit closer to your upper body. And nice and tall. You 
look up maybe, look forward, just shut your eyes. Just concentrate on your breath. Maybe you have some music playing, maybe you don't. I don't have any music, but I can hear the birds chirping in the tree outside my window. All right, let's take that left foot, just twist at your waist, put the left foot on the right side of your body. Feel that twist, feel that stretch. And then maybe take your left hand, place it on your left leg. Right, is that what we did? Or no, this is what we did, right? We took our right hand and placed it on our left leg and twisted to the left. So you can sit up a little taller. Breathe. So hips, outer thigh, glutes. Breathe, 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 breathe. All right, two more breaths. All right, you're gonna come back to center. You're gonna take your uh, left leg and just bend it at a 90 degree angle over to the left. Your right knee is gonna bend in front of you in a 90 degree angle. You're gonna sit up nice and tall, so it's just a modified pigeon or swan. If you'd rather go into full pigeon, perfectly fine for you if that's what works. Sitting up tall and then coming forward. So you're just gonna come forward over your right thigh. Your knee is bent in the front. You're gonna feel that in your right mid back. So your quadratus lumborum muscle, you're also feeling it in your hip, your glute. You're gonna to try to walk those hands out in front. As you push back into your mat and the floor with your hips. Deep breaths. Try to square your hips and your shoulders up with the floor. Sitting up nice and tall, let's switch legs. So bring your left leg bent in front of you. Your right knee is gonna bend to the right side. You're gonna sit up nice and tall again, and you're just gonna walk yourself forward. Again, nice and tall. Just walking your upper body over your thigh. After you take a couple of breaths, see if you can walk yourself longer. Push yourself back into your hips. Drop your head down a little bit more. And breathe. You got two or three more breaths here. All right, you're gonna come back to center. So we're gonna come onto, um, onto your knees, but don't worry. Um, we're gonna try um, not to put a lot of pressure on your knees. 
So if you have a block um, or a stack of books or a couple of pillows, maybe even, but books or a block, um, it is not necessary at all. In fact, I'll show it uh, with or without. You're gonna come onto your knees facing me. And I know this might not feel good, so put your hands down while I'm talking um, to take the pressure off your knees. You're gonna take your left hand and put it on the block or just the floor. Your right foot is gonna go out to the side, your toes pointing towards me. So the block can be here or your stack of books and your right arm is gonna go up to the ceiling. So it's like a modified plank. It's actually called gatekeeper. So you're really not putting pressure on your knee. You're gonna push down into your shin. So push down into your lower leg and rise up through those right fingers and push down into your right leg and into your left hand as you look up bringing your shoulder blades together, and then you can make any sort of change here. You can turn this into side plank by taking that left knee and extending your leg straight and being here in side plank. That's an option for anybody, I'm not choosing that today. Or you can add a little balance challenge by lifting the right leg off the mat, wherever you want to be for three more breaths. Come out of that and come on into child's pose. So just come forward, push your hips back, your knees wide. Take a couple breaths. Walk your hands back so that you're kind of in a hands and knees position. If you're gonna use the block, move it over to your right. And let's find the other side. So your left leg comes out to the side, toes point to the front. Right hand on the floor or the block, open up the hips. Bring your left arm up to the side and look up. Push your hips forward. Extend your right leg straight along with your left if you want full side plank. If you would like to raise your left leg up, it could be higher than mine for sure. Let's do three or four breaths. Okay, come on out of that, back into child's pose. From child's pose, spread your fingers wide, bring your knees back in line with your hips, tuck your toes, so get your feet on your mat, and bring your hips up and back in downward facing dog. So hips high, chin to your chest, look through your legs. Take one more breath. Slowly walk your hands back towards your feet so that you're on your mat. And then walk up your legs nice and slow. Big shoulder roll. And then fix your clothes. Fix your hair. All right, so now I want you to find your wall. So I'm right here at my wall. I want you, your left shoulder and your left hip, your left foot right next to the wall. Your left arm is going to go straight up, palm facing away from the wall. 
and well actually your palm facing towards the wall then I want you to just start moving it back behind you without moving your body just kind of inching those fingers back till you can maybe get them where you think they're at a 90 degree angle your arm is at a 90 degree angle and if it doesn't work for you to be right here at 90 degrees with your upper body facing away from that palm that's fine you just do whatever you can you should feel a really nice stretch in your chest and your shoulder on the left side so your hand is about at what nine o'clock Nice and tall. Breathe. Maybe even take your right hand and put it back behind your back. And then let's slowly walk those fingers up to two o'clock. Leave your hand. Then one o'clock. Oh no, that's 10 o'clock and then 11, we're at 11 o'clock now, sorry. And then 12 o'clock again. All right, now let's go to one o'clock and two o'clock and three o'clock and then just turn around and let's try that on the other side. So right arm up, palm facing away. Let me just scooch up here. All right, so let's start inching that finger, those fingers back far as you can let's try to go now to what would be three o'clock try to square your upper body right to the straight right in front of you don't try to turn in so if you have to turn towards the wall then maybe don't bring your arm back so far and do not let this cause you physical pain you can be uncomfortable but not pain. You can take this arm, wrap it back behind you to remind yourself to stand up tall. Big deep breaths. And shut your eyes really push down into the floor or your mat whatever you're standing on rise up through your spine push that shoulder towards the mat the wall and let's start walking those fingers up to two o'clock one or two breaths Go to one o'clock. And then 12 o'clock. Reach up, reach up, reach up. Just walk your hands back down. Oh, what, what we did, we kind of went down like this. So let's just go slow. Come back around to center. Come back to your mat. And then a couple big shoulder rolls. All right, line your feet up in front of you. Hands at your heart. Eyes shut. And just notice how your shoulders feel. Let 
Then I want you to interlace your pinky, middle, and ring finger and reach up towards the ceiling and lean over to your right. Inhale back to center and lean over to your left. Do that again, right side, left side. Inhaling to center and exhaling over. Leave your arms straight up there. Let's take your legs wide and reach. Your arms are gonna go out to the side and you're gonna turn your toes away and you're gonna bend your knees, bend your arms in a warrior squat. So try to get your elbows and your upper arms parallel so I can see myself in the phone and I was here so try to get your arms here. Pull your shoulder blades back. Knees tracking right over your toes. So push your hips forward. Take a breath. And then rise up, grab your palms. Inhaling. And then exhale back into that squat. Inhale back up. And exhale back down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale back down. Arms are gonna go out to the side. You're gonna rotate your body over to the right and you're gonna sink down into a low lunge. So drop your left knee, bend your right. Hands are either at your uh, right foot, or you can bring your upper body up, pushing that left hip forward. So now just get in the front side of your hip. We really work the side and the back already. Stretch those. So let's work that hip flexor in your quadricep muscles, the front sides of your hip. If you can look up, great. If you need to put your hands on your thigh, that's fine. If you need to just put the hand down or use your block. But just make sure you're pressing through your left hip. Pushing that forward. Taking one more breath. You're going to walk your hands back through center, lifting your hips. And you're gonna drop your right knee down on the other side, bend your left knee, and find your low lunge on this side. So if it hurts to have your knee down on the ground, just pick it up. You could be here. And you could be here. And you can be here. Five or six breaths. You decide. If you feel like your shoulders have gotten enough work today, just keep your hands right on your thigh. If you wanna work a little bit of balance, shut your eyes. Three more breaths. Bring your hands back down to the ground, lift your hips up, walk your hands back to center, toes pointing forward, your left hand down on the ground right underneath your face. You're going to twist your upper body towards the right, right arm up to the ceiling. Push your hips back, push your upper body forward, nice hamstring stretch, and a great twist at your waist. Take just one breath. Bring your right hand down, twist at your waist, left arm up to the ceiling, and breathe. One more breath. Bring that hand down, scoot your feet together, and just sit down. 
actually, let's just lay down. So right where we started at the beginning of class, let's give yourself a hug and see how that feels. So bring your knees in. This should feel a lot better than it did at the beginning of class. Let's turn your feet around your ankle joints. Let's go the opposite direction. All right, then we're gonna move to the wall. So you should be close to your wall because we were here with those shoulders. So what I'd like you to do is just scoot your hips over towards the wall. So your right hip or your left hip as close to that wall as possible. And then flip onto your back and bring your legs up towards the wall. Um, I would suggest that you're not really like me where one foot is on the closet and one is on the wall. But this is what I got right here because I want to be able to use the wall and not the doorway over there. So let's do a hamstring stretch from here. For some of you, this is going to feel like a great hamstring stretch just with your legs up the wall. And you hear me talk about this pose in class all the time. This is what I mean. This is legs up the wall. And this is a fabulous stretch. It's probably the best yoga pose that's out there. I would recommend doing it at least one time a day at night, especially after any hard activities that you've done during the day. But here, we're gonna take your left leg and reach it towards your upper body, holding onto your calf or your hamstring or your toes. You can use your strap or towel if you have that nearby. If you don't have the strap or towel nearby, it is not a necessity today for sure because you have the wall to help you. Just make sure that you're flexing that foot, pushing your heel up. And if your toes are feeling kind of tingly, that's perfectly normal. It's just all of the junk fluid stuff running from your feet. It just is coming all the way down your legs or yeah, down your legs, really up your legs, but down your legs in towards your torso to all those internal organs where all that junk's gonna get processed out. Let's switch sides. So put your left foot back. And again, maybe you're just doing your hamstring stretch just right here. This is fine. But if you can add just a little bit more, you're bringing your right leg towards you. I assume everybody's doing this. I usually move the camera, maybe I should. I just don't wanna miss out on the good hamstring stretch. So make sure your back is nice and strong into that floor or your mat. Try not to round your lower back or your shoulders. So if holding onto your calf or your toes makes you feel like you're rounding your shoulders, just hold on behind your hamstrings and just flex your foot. Big deep breaths. So normally we would drop a leg out to the side. So that's what we're gonna do here. All you're gonna do is move your legs back to the wall and then just let your legs drop open right and left in a big wide um, straddle is what I was trying to think of. And you just let breath and gravity do all the work. Stay right here. I'm just going to move the camera over while you all are doing that.
All right, so you are welcome to stay right here longer if you'd like. Or we're going to come back with your right foot in the middle and your left leg is going to cross over the right. So your right leg can be straight and your left leg bent. And then you can start to bend your right knee to get a really good glute and outer thigh stretch on the left leg. So all the same principles apply. You're going to try to keep your knees in line with your shoulders, your lower leg on the left parallel to the floor. But that wall should help you get a deeper stretch because you can start to bend your right knee without using any part of your upper body. You can bring your arms up overhead and you can take really deep breaths. switch legs so slowly come out of that maybe straighten the right leg first then straighten your left leg cross your right leg and then start to bend your left and so notice any difference so this side is a lot tighter for me so you just give yourself some leeway you give yourself a little bit of a break don't try to go into that full pose, right side, left side. You just give yourself time, breath, gravity to get yourself to the other side on its own time. Three or four more breaths. All right, you're going to slowly come out of that. So maybe straighten your left leg. Straighten your right, then give yourself a little hug and see if you can just drop your knees over to the right. Little twist. Bring them back up to center. Drop them to the left. And then I'm going to give you the option of putting your legs back up the wall for your final relaxation or just keep rolling over and lay on your back or just maybe in this little fetal position, that's fine. But we're gonna go about three or four minutes, maybe three. It's been a very gentle practice, so you don't need that much time and final relaxation. So I'm gonna be with my legs up the wall and I will definitely wake you up in three minutes. I'm gonna set my watch. So relax your shoulders. Shut your eyes, put a towel or an eye pillow over your eyes. And let yourself just concentrate on your breath. When your mind starts to wander away, bring it right back to your breath.
Just inhale and exhale. As quiet and as still as you can be. Let's start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Just slowly, gently waking yourself back up. You can stretch your arms up over your head. You can start slowly moving yourself away from the wall, maybe just rolling over to one side and finding a nice little comfortable position on your side for a couple of breaths. Again, your toes might feel a little bit weird if you were, had your legs up the wall, perfectly normal. And then just slowly start to move yourself up to a seated position. Don't leave me quite yet. Got a couple breaths to take together. So in a seated position, arms at your side. Let's all inhale up with a big ah as you exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Ah. One more time. Inhale. Ah. Thank you so much for coming today. Namaste. Have a fabulous rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Let me know what you're doing. Send me a little note, message text, email, whatever. Um, stay happy, stay safe. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.